Amanda Pond of the Pepperdine Dive Team made her senior season the best ever. Now please excuse the cliche, but she really did go out with a splash. Or would that be very little splash? My favorite dive would be twisters and inwards. Um, inwards are where you stand backwards and dive inward towards the, bo the board. And they're a little bit scary for people to watch. Um, but I love doing that. And I love any kind of twisting dive. I think people like to watch those dives the most too. But it's funny because I started diving freshman year of high school in Massachusetts. And I only dove one meter and it was indoors. So when I came to Pepperdine and we have the three meter board, it was completely new to me. I spent a lot of my time like learning all my dives. At the PCSE Championships in 2009, Pond won the three meter. Soon thereafter, she was voted Diver of the Year. Winning that felt really good. Coming in, not ever doing it, and then working hard my four years with Co Coach Nick. Um, and then actually winning it was exciting, really exciting. I think the biggest thing in competition is not getting all tied up in the scores. And if you got scored poorly um, or you messed up a dive, not focusing on that, but focusing on, okay, what do I have to do to come back? Or, you know, what do I need to do for my next dive? And staying calm is a huge thing. Like, like I said earlier, um, I've done the dive so many times. I know I can do them. It's just about believing that you can do them. As a busy senior, there were challenges to overcome before she earned her place on that podium. I've been full-time student teaching, and I've been bouncing, trying to work on the side, and then my academic work, and then I haven't always been able to make it to practice because um, of my schedule. So I was a little unsure how well I'd perform not going to practice as much as I used to. My sister's a diving coach and she said, um, don't worry about it, you've done the dives a million times before, it's all muscle memory, just focus on what you have to do, think about it and prepare mentally for it, and then physically you'll be able to do it. And it was true. I think I surprised myself and my coach. <laughs> I've always been the one on the team to kind of keep things easy and laugh about a lot of things um, when people are stressed out or whatnot. So I, I think if you just keep things easy and you enjoy what you're doing, then it's going to be fun and no matter what happens, 